I want to say that this House will never bow to extremists, threats or intimidation. It has not, it will not, it must not. And I would ask all honourable members not to do this House a further disservice by suggesting that the shameful events that took place yesterday were anything other than party politics on behalf of the Let me bring the House up to date. Two significant things happened yesterday, and I'm not sure all honourable members have clocked. Firstly, it fell to the government benches to defend the rights of a minority party in this House. If the Honourable Lady opposite cannot bring herself to reflect on the appalling consequences of her party's actions yesterday, if she cannot rise above the narrow and immediate needs of her weak and fickle leader, duties to this House as its shadow leader, perhaps she might like to reflect on the damage her party has done to the office of the Speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah.